morning, it's Sunday. Um, I wanna get this done pretty quick so I can go for a ride while the weather's still half decent. But to continue from my last video, what I've done is I've put the bike back on the dyno, the CF Moto 450, um, and I've taken the seat off and I've hooked up the HP Tuner's dongle there so I can log data out of the OBD port via Bluetooth. So what I'm keen to see is one is the RPM, two is the vehicle speed that the bike thinks it's doing, uh, three is the spark, because I reckon these maps are global because there's no knock sensor on the engine, um, and TPS versus basically closed loop fueling because what I'm thinking is at about 80% throttle, it goes into open loop or power enrichment. And yeah, I'm gonna do another power run, and this time to, you know, change all the doubters' minds, I'm actually gonna go out to 8,500 RPM um, as the factory uh, power figures are around 8,500 RPM. So I'll run it up, I'll calibrate the, um, derived RPM on the dyno and give it a full spurt. Okay, so dyno run is done. Let's have a bit of a look. So, let's use this as a little bit of a pointer here. We have lost a little bit of torque here. That's purely because of we've changed our gearing. Up here. Um, but I, mean, I revved it just at 500 RPM higher. And we've got 42 horsepower at the wheel and 31.4 kilowatts. Uh, I didn't log the AFRs purely because last time I took the bike off the dyno um, I left this in there and if you have a listen to this it's broken so I bought a new sensor but we can go to the data here so if you have a look here this is our throttle position 
and at full throttle or just about here if I zoom in to there as it transitions as your throttle there throttle percentage as it transitions up to about 75% throttle it goes into open loop fueling so that's where we go into open loop and now ignition timing I have a look here 8 degrees timing down low 9 degrees 13 degrees timing 20 degrees timing 24 26 27 29 31 sort of tops out 34 degrees timing uh, as hot as the bike got was 88 degrees and our maximum RPM by the looks of it was 8300 so I didn't even go to 8500 so we might see that magical number if I just go a little bit higher um, yeah all in all that gives me more data so the next thing is to get into the ECU and see when we can map it but I reckon this timing here is a global timing market for your 95 fuel so I dare say you could put a couple more degrees timing in here and get some gains and run 98. The fueling, if you have a look here, that's in lambda, 0.87 lambda, 0.86 lambda, that's bang on the money for making power. Perfect. Well, I'm going to take the bike for another ride, put the seat back on, fill it up with fuel, and... Um, see how it goes for a long ride i'm also going to do another video and compare it to my old bike which is the trk 502x um, there's going to be some haters there because i'm going to point out a few home truths about the benelli but yeah um like and subscribe if you want to see that um, also i forgot to mention i'm just going to show you the difference in rpm at 100 k's and this is not by having a guess this is actually measured so here oops. so if you have a look here that's our difference in the rpm there so you're looking at 400 rpm difference at 100 k's or thereabouts